Britain's largest public film festival, the London Film Festival, is in full swing this weekend. 300 films will be shown over a fortnight at cinemas around the capital. And unlike Cannes or Berlin, anyone can go to see them. Our correspondent Nick Heim is at the National Film Theatre and London's South Bank and joins me now, Nick. Yes, indeed, Maxine. The National Film Theatre, or BFI South Bank, as it's called now, and I've come into the smallest of the four cinemas here. Uh, very small, just 38 seats. It's one of the cinemas that's being used for screenings in the festival. Now, film festivals, of course, are an opportunity to see some of the new commercial uh, films before they're released. It's an opportunity to catch up on the best in world cinema and British cinema. And I'm joined now by a British filmmaker, Shem Shamim Sarif, who is also, I think, a maker, I think we could say, of world cinema films the world unseen your new film showing in the festival just tell us what it's about briefly uh, it's set in South Africa in the 1950s um, and follows the lives of two very very different Indian women at that time and uh, they form a very unexpected friendship and then attraction um, but at its core I think it's about integrity it's about finding your voice um, and in that way I think the themes are, are quite universal okay we've got a short clip of it this is the one of your two women Miriam in discussion with her husband Omar if I don't like it, that should be enough. It's not enough. It never has been. I just didn't know what to tell you until now. No! You have to find a better way of speaking to me. Now, what's interesting about this, Shamim, is that you've adapted it yourself from your own novel, you've written the screenplay, and you are directing it. I, that's very unusual. It is. I did the on-set catering as well. No. <laughs> um, it's, um, it was quite a journey, um, and I think that the transition from novel to screenplay was, in a way, the, the most challenging, because that's where you have to decide what, what you keep in to recreate visually. Uh, what you've created uh, mentally in the minds of these characters. But it's a brave producer, isn't it, who is prepared to take a risk on an untried director directing her own screenplay? It is. I was very lucky with my producers, uh, our executive producers, Catherine Priestley and Lisa Chenky Zimmerman. Um, they were both passionate about the novel um, and about the screenplay and the story, um, and they were very... Um, uh, kind and trusting, I think, to, to feel that I was the person that could maybe bring that vision um, and the themes that were that were so important to them in in the book uh, through to the screen. Okay, Shamim Sarif, uh, both filmmaker and novelist, storyteller. Thank you very much indeed. And from uh, the smallest cinema on the South Bank, back to you in the studio. Nick, thank you very much indeed. Let's catch up with the weather. Dan Corbett has all the details.